These are the characters whose stories we didn't want to see end. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney movies that we wish got a TV series. Did you just boot my stroller? Nicholas Wilde, you are under arrest. Like what you're watching? Well, don't forget to check out Junior Mojo and watch more videos that the whole family can enjoy. For this list, we're looking at animated Disney movies that we wish had gotten their own TV show, so we could continue to follow these fan-favorite characters on weekly adventures. In terms of ranking, we're looking at movies that were not only a lot of fun, but also had a premise that would have easily lent itself to a serialized format. Number 10. Brave But every once in a while, there's a day when I don't have to be a princess. Merida, the spunky and rebellious princess, and heroine of this 2012 Disney and Pixar film, isn't the sort of young lady who would have settled into a cozy, quiet life after the events of the movie. Our fate lives within us. She's a bow-toting, stereotype shirking free spirit who refused to settle for the sort of life her gender and position prescribed her. And I'll be shooting for my own hand! <laughs> With no sign of a sequel on the horizon, We'd still like to see a TV series that follows the young redhead as she exercises her independence by taking to the wilderness to fight other supernatural forces of evil. Number 9. Wally. Sure, it wouldn't be the most conventional series, but still, to be honest, we're thinking with our hearts rather than our heads by including it. But seriously, wouldn't you do just about anything to get a regular dose of Wally and Eve in your life? The adorable robot pair that stole our hearts in the 2008 Disney and Pixar film ended their big screen adventure back on Earth. So for their small screen series, we'd be happy to see them helping to rebuild terrestrial society or taking to the stars to find new adventures. Just give us more time with these robots. Number 8. The Great Mouse Detective Okay, it's not the best-known Disney property, and it came pre-Disney Renaissance, but The Great Mouse Detective boasts a premise that was tailor-made for a small-screen spin-off series. That bat, one fidget by name, is in the employ of the very fiend who was the target of my experiment. Given that it only made a modest $38.7 million at the box office, against a budget of $14 million, we can understand why the property didn't get more love. But with a devoted following of cult fans who still remember it fondly, and given the popularity of the BBC Sherlock Holmes series, might an animated detective series starring Basil of Baker Street, Dr. Dawson, Olivia Flaversham, and Toby not resonate with viewers? Oh, the thrill of the hunt, eh, Dawson? Uh, quite. <laughs> Number 7. The Rescuers Another intrepid pair of problem-solving mice, another missed opportunity for television magic. Given the success of Chippendale Rescue Rangers a little over a decade later, Ch -ch 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 it's almost criminal that Miss Bianca and Bernard of the Rescue Aid Society didn't get their own TV show. You know, it could be risky. Oh, come on. Remember our pledge? Through storm and rain and dark of night. Never fail to do what's right. What's even worse is that Disney got a second opportunity to make it happen with the release of the sequel Rescuers Down Under. Unfortunately, the second film underperformed at the box office, which likely sunk any chances of a Rescuers series had there ever been one. But we can always dream of what could have been. Number 6. Moana Much like Merida, Moana is a strong female role model that deviates from the damsel in distress princesses of Disney's earlier cinematic offerings. There's no Prince Charming or Knight in Shining Armor coming to Moana's rescue. She saves the day herself, despite the interference of a misguided male figure. You are not my hero, and I'm not here so you can sign my oar. All that to say, Moana is awesome. And given that the film ends with her sailing off on a voyage of exploration, well, not doing a series seems like a really big wasted opportunity. We know the way. Seriously, the horizon's the limit here, Disney, and Moana's got a world of adventures to discover in a potentially long-running series. Number 5. Frozen oh. <gasps> My own personal flurry! 
Yes, Frozen has been given a sequel, but a six-year gap? In child terms? That's a whole generation of Anna, Elsa, and Olaf-obsessed little kids left high and dry without new Frozen content to keep them happy. Yes, they've thrown us short films like Frozen Fever and Olaf's Frozen Adventure. But 28 minutes of content isn't nearly enough. We need 21 to 23 minutes of Arendelle-based content every week. A Frozen TV series should have been considered mandatory. <sighs> Alright, let's start this thing over. Number 4. Inside Out This film has so much potential as a TV series that it hurts. The central plot was just the start of Riley's tumultuous adolescence. One episode in a lifetime worth of emotional ups and downs, which, as experienced through the dashboard of emotions in her head and the colorful cast of characters that operate it, would make for truly great animated television. What's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. Whoa. It wouldn't even need to be Riley's head. Give us an entire new cast of human characters and their respective personified emotions. Did you guys pick up on that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Honestly, as we pitch it, television begins to seem like an even better medium for Inside Out than film. Number 3. Wreck-It Ralph Video game adaptations might be box office kryptonite, but video game inspired films are another story. With its innovative premise, Wreck-It Ralph managed to connect not only with kids, but with nostalgic parents too. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. After fulfilling their own dreams, we'd really like to see Ralph and Vanellope help other video game characters find satisfaction by helping them achieve their ambitions. There are a lot of arcade cabinets to be explored, and a lot of video game character archetypes to be introduced. Though a sequel is in the works, we think there's plenty of room for a TV series that explores more small-scale nightly adventures. All clear! The arcade's closed! Sure you can! Ooh, what a day. So, you want to head to Tapper's, Ken? Number 2. The Incredibles Do we really need to get into this one? Or are all of you already in agreement with us? An incredible spin-off series seems like a foregone conclusion after the success of the film. A family with special abilities who fight crime together, while balancing out the struggles of family life, it's all there. The makings of a ready-made hit series. <laughs> then again, a sequel seemed like a foregone conclusion too. And it took until 2018, nearly a decade and a half, for that to materialize. During this lengthy gap, the aforementioned series would have been greatly appreciated by fans. Talk about a missed opportunity. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This will be just like the time you infiltrated Calico's Arctic Hover Base! <laughs> well, it's not gonna be exactly like that, Rhino. We're gonna have to do things a little differently. Number one, Zootopia. Yes, yes, a million times yes. Don't get us wrong, we want a sequel, but we also want an animated TV series. Police procedurals are one of the most enduring television genres, and an animated kid-friendly police procedural set in the world of Zootopia has the potential to draw big viewing numbers. Yeah. I got tips! Officer Hawk, I am in pursuit! Kids would serve as the core demographic, but by keeping the complex messages in there, well, Disney could keep the adult fans hooked, too. I mean, it's not like a bunny could go savage. Right, but a fox could, huh? Nick, stop it. You're not like them. Oh, there's a them now. Ugh. With officers Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde on the case week after week, well, viewers would just be so happy. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.